is from Tyler, um, Lewiston, Montana, and this is a long one, so hopefully I can read the full thing. I've seen a few pumpers that are equipped with PTO-driven midship pumps capable of 1250 GPM. I see advantages of this being the simplicity of putting the pump in gear. I would question the mechanical stoutness of a PTO compared to using the truck transmission. My question is, has there been any issues reported with using these PTO driven fire pumps specifically in 1250 or 1500 GPM range? It's been more of an application uh, question there. I'll kind of take that as I had some time in the applications department. Um, yeah, and early on, to, it's kind of a two-part question there. It does help that we don't have a shifting collar um, that we're using, so it does help in a in a shifting situation. A lot of our shift issues were taken care of um, with the help of uh, the Allison My09 standards, which if the OEM wired that in, it actually recognizes a butt tooth condition and you don't have a completed pump shift and will actually jog the drive line uh, to, to help it uh, engage. But uh, so that, that is one thing. It does help of putting the pump in gear as you are just engaging a PTO, which is a hydraulic uh, actuation of the power takeoff. Um, answering the questions yet, yeah, and early on, uh, the power takeoffs that were available, <clears throat> both from Muncie and from Chelsea, uh, we had problems with over overloading those or over tor torquing those. And uh, you could run into problems if you, because a pump, as, as Steve had mentioned before, um, you know, the horsepower, if, if we've got plenty of horsepower in the engines that we have nowadays, and if you supply a pump with horsepower and the water, um, you know, we can pump it a lot higher than the actual rating. So uh, we run into issues sometimes where we can, where we can over, um, over torque the power takeoff, but uh, some of the OEMs, they have been able to tie in uh, a speed limiter or a cutout or a limiting device and that they actually wire it in so that we don't over speed the PTO. But, Power takeoffs have gotten more robust. Um, also, the uh, where they're mounted on the transmissions and, and the ability to take torque off, we can run pumps up to 1,500 gallons per minute uh, now off the power takeoffs. And they have the ability to handle that torque and those speeds. 